we shall now talk about how we can copy one string to the other variable without using library functions. So let us say I declare s as the first string with the capacity to store 100 characters, d as the destination string to store 100 characters. So what I am going to do here is I am going to read a string into s and then character by character I am going to copy it into d. So this explanation is going to show you how the copying one character at a time takes place from S to D. Length is used to calculate the length of string S yes, and I is a variable which is used to transfer characters from here to here from the zeroth position until its value is less than length. So first what I am doing is I am asking the user enter a source string or enter a string. Let us say he enters the source string as which is called S and he enters B Y E and presses the enter key. So the length of the source string happens to be three characters. So the first thing I do is I calculate the length of the source string. So in this case what is going to happen the value of length is going to be equal to three. Now using a for loop I can just simply copy one character at a time from the source to the destination very easily. So let's see how that is done. So what I have done is I have defined a destination array with capacity 100 and I have shown some initial positions blank so that you can see what is happening when the copy is going through. So initially let us show the values of length and i. So if you see length is 3, i is 0 as per this. Is 0 less than 3? It is true. So I am going to come here. What is d of 0? d of 0 refers to this. What is S of 0 refers to B. So I am going to copy here. I is increased by 1 and then I check this condition. 1 less than 3 is still true. D of 1 is this particular position. S of 1 is Y. So I can assign and copy it character by character. You cannot assign the entire string. You can assign character by character. Then I ends up becoming 2. 2 is less than 3 true. So D of 2 happens to be this fellow, S of 2 happens to be this fellow, this is E. Then I ends up becoming 3 after this increment. Is 3 less than 3 is false. Now I have copied the characters of the string but it is my job since I am manipulating at the level of a character to add the null character here. So what I am doing is D of length, length is 3, D of 3 is how much? It's this particular position. So I am incorporating the null character here. So the null character is copied here. And then next I can simply print the copied string as if I do a C out dot write D and length it is going to print by on your Windows screen or Linux machine whatever you are using. So I believe this simple program should have given you an idea how you convert a string or how you copy a string from one array of characters to another array of characters or one memory location to another memory location character at a time without using any library functions.